<laughs> All right, well, praise God. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Just want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. And we just want to welcome all of you that are uh, viewing us by uh, video or joining us by audio, whichever one. Still, we want to welcome you. Amen. And you yeah. know what? It's best to welcome our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ yes. into yes. our hearts and what He has for us. Amen. Yeah. And we're gonna we have it. Well, He's given me a great message. He always gives me a great message. The thing about it is, <laughs> do you receive it? Amen. Yeah. We're going to be talking about attitude. Oh, boy. <laughs> so what kind of attitude do you have today? Uh -huh. Hopefully we wake up with a positive attitude, a good attitude, a winning attitude, yeah. and not a bad attitude. Amen. Because right. those are easy. Amen. Yeah. Because, you know, we're a tribe being. We're a spirit. We have a soul. And we live in, live in this body, you know. And uh, the body is always wanting to have a nasty, bad, wrong attitude. So the Bible says what? Renew our minds. We've got to renew our minds to what the Word of God says so we can have a positive attitude. Regardless of what the situation is outside, regardless of what the situation is in your life, amen, we got to be positive about it. Why? Because we're children of God. Yes. Amen. And uh, we're winners. Amen. And nobody ever told you that. You're a winner. Yes. Because you're on God's side. Amen. amen. You're not on the losing side. So anyway, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. He's got great things for you. Let yes. the word of God bless you, encourage you, change you, and amen. correct you. Amen. amen. Father always wants to correct his children. Amen. Yes. So, you know, sometimes correction comes, but you know, take it good and be, and be good about it. Amen. Yes. So praise God. I haven't said this in a while. I'll say it to you now. Don't leave like you came. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Don't leave like you came. Change. Mm -hmm. Change is a good thing. Amen. Yes, it is. So change is a good thing. Grab your sword. Soldier yes. of God. Warrior of God. Amen. <laughs> Grab your swords. And say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Right. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You know what I've highlighted up there? It says, I am, I have, I can do. Today, I'm boldly confessing. And my spirit is receptive. Amen. And that's a positive attitude right there. Okay. So, praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm going to start off with a uh, scripture break. I told you last week, I, put, I write scriptures, uh, scripture breaks in the uh, Facebook, so some of you will join me and, and see them, and uh, hopefully you're growing from them. But uh, the scripture break, we, we take breaks, we take all kinds of breaks, uh -huh. especially if you're at work. You take uh, uh, coffee breaks, you take uh, pee breaks, you take uh, smoke breaks, right. you take all kinds of breaks, <laughs> amen? But why not take a scripture break? You know, all through the day, you can just have a a good good break and get it in the scripture. Amen. And this is what the scripture break goes about. It says, "Attitude is your choice. Attitude is your responsibility." Uh -huh. Amen. It says, "Attitude is your choice. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference." Yes, it does. So you have a choice, and you can't blame nobody else. Attitude is a decision. Of your will attitude is more important than facts it's more important than the past uh than money than circumstances than failures than success than what pe other people think or say or do yeah it's more important than appearance uh skills it will make or break a company a church a home yeah the remarkable thing is we have a choice each day regarding yes. the attitude we that we embrace for that day Yes. Rejoice and be glad in every day that the Lord gives us. Yes. Attitude is altitude. High, low, positive, negative, right or wrong, win or lose. Yeah. Right attitude gives you power over your circumstances. Wrong attitude is like a flat tire. Mm. <laughs> you can't go anywhere without changing it. All right. Amen. Hey, you know we got to drive wherever we got to go. Just block away, but we got to drive. <laughs> but if you have a flat, you can go anywhere. That's it. So we got to change that attitude and you know when you got a good attitude you know yourself <laughs> you know when you look in the mirror that's your biggest problem right there <laughs> and you got to change that attitude just like a flat tire you got to change it before you go anywhere 
attitude will limit how far you can go. Remember, positive or negative, right or wrong, it'll limit you and you'll limit yourself. Cast, remember, the Bible says, cast all cares, all wrong attitudes on him. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, you know, I need your help. <laughs> you know, Jesus went to the Father all the time when he needed strength. You know, he, he, he felt the wrong attitude coming. <laughs> and he went to the Father. What about us? <laughs> you feel a wrong attitude coming? I say, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me tell you what I feel. Let me tell you this. Let me give you a piece of this. You know, and we want to just lay it out. <laughs> but you know, you go inside and you think. What would the Father do? What would Jesus right. do before you let it out? Yeah. Amen. So let's remember this, okay? Woo! Hallelujah. Somebody needed that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needed that. Come on now. Attitude. I probably repeat of myself here a little bit, but anyway, it's attitude. It's your choice, your responsibility. We're opening our message. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yeah. Amen. Positive, negative, right or wrong. It makes a big difference. Attitude will limit how far you can go. Wrong attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere without check until you change it. Have a winning attitude or have the right attitude. It's like a viral heroes. All believers should be like this. Mm. Amen. And all believers should know this about our greatest Bible hero, Jesus. And all his apostles, all his, all his, uh, all these uh, Bible heroes. Um, from them, we learn that the right attitude is the right way to go. Yeah. From the right, right attitude is having a winning attitude. Yes, it is. Having a winning attitude is a majority part of having victory in our daily life. Uh -huh. Amen. Why? Because we woke up, renewed our minds to what the Word of God says. Yes. Spent time with Him and fed on the Word of God. Yeah. And now I can go out. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. And be positive about it. Why? Yeah. Not because what's going on out there. And not what enemies trying to put in your mind. It says the battlefield is the mind. So you're going to get some negative things. You're going to think some negative thoughts. But still, it says renew your mind with the word of God. So whatever the war is going on out there. Whatever giants are waiting you out there. Still, I'm going to have that right attitude when I leave my presence with God. Amen? Amen. And that's what we need to do. If you're going to have one in attitude, David ran to his giant. We can do the same thing. Have the same attitude. A winning attitude. He ran knowing he was going to win. Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't run over there to be defeated. He ran out there because he knew he was going to win. Mm -hmm. We can do the same thing. We got giants waiting us. Okay? And, and our giants are different. My giants are different than yours. But still they're out there. But yeah. with him we win. Without him we lose. Yeah, I think I told you this last week, but I have a bumper sticker on my car that says, you know, <laughs> this world is, is hell out there without him. It's hell out there without Jesus. Amen. So let's remember that having a winning attitude is forgetting the past. Yeah. Forgetting the defeats, forgetting the setbacks. And guess who's going to bring them back to you? <laughs> the enemy. Mm -hmm. He's going to remind you. Yeah. Family is going to remind you. Yeah. Friends are going to remind you. Right, Man, know. you ain't nothing but a loser. Man, you ain't nobody. Mm -hmm. And you try to tell me. Mm -hmm. They remember the outward appearance. Yeah. But remember, you accepted Christ. You had a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. And that's on the inside. They yeah. can't see your inside. The only one that can see your inside is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You had a spiritual birth on the inside. And now you got to take that spiritual birth. You read the word, study the word, meditate on the word, and start speaking the word, and it's going to change your outward. Yes. Amen. So we got to speak it out. Yes. Amen. And we got to do it. Mm -hmm. Be hearers and doers yes. of the word of God. Amen. So praise God. So forgetting the past, forgetting defeats, forgetting setbacks. And we've all been there, okay? None of us are perfect except for Jesus. So I can't judge you. I can't point a finger at you because I've been there. I've done that. Mm -hmm. Okay? But we have to know that he forgives us. Yeah. Some of you, somebody really needs this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Somebody told you Jesus can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Somebody told you you're no good. Uh 
and you start believing the lies mm -hmm. the enemy gives you. You start believing. The enemy uses people just like God yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And they start feeding you all this false information. Mm -hmm. They say, wait a minute. I got to renew my mind. I need Jesus in my life. Lord, I failed you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And stop living for him now. You know, yeah. now's the time. Quit waiting. Don't put it off any longer. Amen. Woo. So know that today is a new day. Know that today is a new year. Know that today is a new beginning. Yes. And you know what? When things change, people change. Company change. He's going to give you new friends. He's going to give you new places. He's going to give you new things. So it's okay to let go of the past. Yes. Amen. And start pressing on with the new things of God yes. for your life. Amen. Come on now. And says, press on, child of God, with a new winning attitude on a daily basis. You know, if you want to get an attitude, get a Jesus attitude. Yeah. If you want to get a new attitude, get a David attitude. Yeah. Say, hey, I'm winning today. I don't care how many giants are waiting for me. Amen. I am going to win. Winning attitude or a positive attitude or a wrong attitude is still your choice. Yes. You choose. So you can't blame nobody else. You know, a coach wants to develop this winning attitude on all of his players. Yes. So how much more does God want us to have a winning attitude? Right, right. I sent Jesus and he won. Amen. Yes. So we could do this. What he did, we could do also. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says that we can do all things through Christ things. who strengthens us. When yes. you start feeding on the positive things, the word of God, the right things, it's going to put us over. Amen. We're going to go over and not under. Hallelujah. Your attitude determines your out and your your, your um, altitude in life. High or low, soaring with eagles or low with the pigs. Amen. Or the world or bad companies. But it's still your choice. Yes. You choose. You know, hot, cold, <laughs> lukewarm. It's your choice. Yeah. Can't blame nobody else. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so so praise God. And you didn't like that, I couldn't put on there. It's your choice. Uh -huh. <laughs> so don't blame nobody. Don't blame you can write these down. I didn't write them down for you, but you can write them down. These are some good attitude setters. Oh. <laughs> John 3.16 says for what? For God so loved oh, the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Praise God. In the St. Corinthians 5.17, what he talks about. He's talking about a new, you're a new creation. The old is gone, the new is in. Yeah. So you had a spiritual birth, so this is the new you. Yeah. So quit trying to revive the old one. It's gone. Let it go. Mm -hmm. And people are going to try to bring you the old all the time mm -hmm. and remind you of your defeats and your okay. setbacks and your failures. Yeah. But you know you had a spiritual birth. Yes. So you're a new creature in Christ. Amen. You're a new person in Christ. So quit going there. And don't answer that door anymore. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let it go. It's past. You know why they keep bringing it up to you? It's because they're still in the past. Yeah. And they still remember the old you. But uh -huh. you're a new new you now. <laughs> Amen. I can't put it any better than that. <laughs> of course, we already said this, but Psalms 118.24. This is the day the Lord has made. And yes. it said, you have a choice. Uh -huh. I choose. I will rejoice and uh -huh. be glad in it. That's it. Why? Because he's given it to me. Yes. Amen. And he woke me up. Yes. That's the first miracle of the day. Mm -hmm. He woke me up. I woke up. I opened my two wonderful eyes and <laughs> ears and everything started functioning. Uh -huh. Amen. So praise God. That's a miracle. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. And now it's time to press on with the winning attitude and yes. serve him. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Here's another one. This is just a few. I mean, you can read this. I could, I could just say, you know, read the whole Bible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> John 10.10 10 says, the enemy or the thief <laughs> or the devil no. or the diablo, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> mm -hmm. He don't come in a, in a, in a red suit or what, what do you call him? Some hot stuff? <laughs> the little cartoon character oh, yes. with horns and a pitchfork uh -huh. and a tail and all that? No. No, he comes as a family. He comes as a, as a friend. <laughs> and, and, and he comes, you know, to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. But Jesus, now Jesus says, I have come that you might have life. Uh -huh. And life more abundantly. Yes. Amen. Life more abundantly. Yes. So let's remember this. 
<laughs> in Philippians uh, 4.13, we need to remember this all the time. It says, I, you know the I, I've told you to personalize your Bible. Mm -hmm. It says, I, Jose, can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Yes. He strengthens me. Amen. How do I get Amen. the strength? Is I go to his word and I read the word. Amen. And study his word and then do his word. Amen. So praise God. Again. Oh, I got to read you another list. <laughs> I wrote it on here. So anyway, did you get those scriptures? Yes. Uh, John 3, 16. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Uh, Psalms 1, 18, 24. Mm -hmm. John 10, 10. Mm -hmm. And Philippians 4, 13. Now these are some good attitude setters, okay? <laughs> now I'm going to give you a few uh, uh, attitudes to avoid. <laughs> now yeah, I know you don't have attitudes, but I have attitudes all the time. <laughs> I guess you can call me a moody person, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Attitudes and behaviors we cannot afford to have as believers. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, and I'm going to give you some more scriptures, so you write them down, okay? Unteachable spirit. Oh, you can't tell me that. You can't teach me. I know it all. Is that right? <laughs> Proverbs uh, 3.11, 15.22, and 19.20. Uh, Amen. What was that scripture again? Uh, Proverbs 3.11. Proverbs uh, 15.22 and Proverbs 19.20. It's only a few. I'm not going to read all these because there's a whole bunch of them. Okay. An unsubmissive spirit. 1 Timothy 1.9. 2 Timothy 3.2 and 1 Peter 2 7 and 8. Disrespectful for others. Mm. Proverbs 14.21. In Proverbs 4.20. I'm just going to read you some of these now. Having an envy, strife, haughty spirit, hatred spirit, false witness, uh, laziness. <laughs> Let me give you some scripture on laziness. <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs 13.4. Uh, Proverbs 19.15. Proverbs 26.13-15. <laughs> A prideful spirit, an unforgiven spirit, a gossiping spirit. <laughs> I told you this church, we teach the gospel, not the gossip, okay? So, <laughs> mm -hmm. <Come on. laughs> I think I read something on uh, Facebook that said uh, gossip will go almost half, one and a half times around the world before mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the right thing is waking up, mm -hmm. before the honest thing is waking up. Oh, <laughs> so gossip, favoritism, uh, party, and... Uh, Dishonesty, an impatient spirit, Proverbs 29, 20. Mm. Impatient spirit. So you know what? We need to avoid these attitudes. Amen? Not get involved in these. And I'll have them for you. I'll put them up. I'll give you a copy of that. But it says, let's serve in excellence. There's much more work to be done. Yeah. And every one of us has something to do. Yeah. In case nobody ever told you... <laughs> All of us are called to do something. Yes, we are. God has gifted us. God has uh, chosen us, chosen you. And he wants you to fulfill your race. We have a walk, race, whatever you want to call it, in life. And he wants you to fulfill it. And he wants you to succeed. Yeah. He wants you to be a winner, not a loser. That's but it. it's your choice. Amen. So praise God. Again, victory, a uh, victorious life enjoyed by Jesus, the apostles, and all the Bible heroes is available to every one of us. Yes. You know, I wish I could do that. We always say that. You know, I wish I, I wish I could do that. Well, you can. The Bible says you can do what? All, All things. things through Christ who strengthens us. Okay? But we are jealous at brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so because they can do it and we can't. Mm. But you know what caused them to do it? Mm -hmm. It's attitude yeah. and determination yeah. that says, I can do all things through Christ yes. and make time to sit down and study yeah. and do it. And we have to make time yeah. ourselves, you know, and, yeah. and read and study. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in uh, Timothy, to study, to show yourself a truth. Yes. Rightly divided in the word of truth. Amen. Yes. So, it's available to us. Don't live a defeated life anymore. 
right. You know, you can be a Christian and, and be defeated because mm -hmm. you are believing the lies instead of believing what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. But I've confessed Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Yeah, but you're not in the Word. Mm -hmm. And you're not in the Book of Truth. Mm -hmm. You're not in His Bible. Reading His Bible, studying His Bible, getting the Word in you. That's when right. you get the Word in you, all the false stuff and all the fears that you have to go. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. So don't live a defeated life anymore. Listen to this. This is for somebody. <laughs> get up. <laughs> Dust off mm -hmm. and press on. <laughs> Amen. We've all been there. Amen. So all you have to do is say, admit it, quit it, confess it, give it to us, mm -hmm. and it's time to press on. You know, if you fall, you get up. Yeah. Well, it's time to get up, but you know, you don't go back. You go forward. forward. Right. And, say, and press on with what God has called me to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe I got a little off track. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Get back on track. Confess your sin and get back on the road. Yes. And fulfill what God has called you to yes. do. Amen. Yeah. No quitting. <laughs> know who's your, who you are. Uh -huh. And know whose you are. Yes. Yes. Amen. You're a child of God. Yes, you are. You got to see yourself that way because the world... Friends, Satan is going to use people to come and tell you yes, that yes. you are nobody. Mm -hmm. That you're no good. You're not qualified. Right. And <laughs> you're going to start believing lies instead yeah. of believing what the Word of God says. Right. You know, don't go there anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? You can experience the same victorious lifestyle. And we've read this scripture many times, but I'll give it to you again. Philippians 3, chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. It says, I... It starts off with I. That's me. I've got to do something. Mm -hmm. I forget what is in the past and try as hard as I, I can to reach the goal before me. I keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize that is mine because God has called me through Christ Jesus to live up there in heaven. Mm -hmm. Your prize is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. But you have to do something. Yeah. Amen. You gotta press on to get this price. You know, you just can't sit back and say, well, you know, <laughs> I'll just we'll sit here and, and wait. No. Be hot, cold, but not good corn. Don't right. just be a pretender, be a, a right. participator and not just a spectator. That's right. Be involved because he wants you to be involved. You know, <laughs> our greatest example, of course, is Jesus because he came and he went through what Father told him to do. Yes, he did. Amen. And he completed his mission. And it wasn't an easy one. Mm -hmm. It was hard. Yes. And then he had to give his life. Yeah. We don't have to even go through some of the things he went through. Okay? And some of us quit. Some of us never get started. Right. <laughs> know that you can do all things through him. Yes. I believe Jesus, Paul... And the Bible hero's victorious life was a winning attitude. Uh -huh. Wanting to achieve, wanting to participate, and not spectate. Hot or cold or lukewarm, mm -hmm. that's your choice. Quit, give up, retreat was not in their vocabulary. That's right. <laughs> Amen. I'm not going to stop. You know, it's getting a little rough, so you know what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. You know, when the disciples, when, they, when the sea started getting a little rough, mm -hmm. they called on Jesus. Yeah. So, you know, when things get a little rough, just call on him. He's yes. there. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes right, you. Right. He's always there with you. Right. Amen. So know that. But do something. Amen. <laughs> you don't give up. They had developed winning hearts or hearts of winners. They had developed hearts of champions. Yes. A winning attitude, a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. And we can do the same thing. Yes. Don't cut yourself short. Okay. Don't see yourself less than what it's it called you to be. Yeah. See yourself the way he sees you. Mm -hmm. And he sees you a winner. Yeah. He sees you a champion. Yeah. Amen. And some of the things you're going through, sometimes you're not casting them or giving them back to him. Because yeah. he says, cast all of them on me. Mm -hmm. Because I care for you. Yeah. And we're still holding on to him. And we're trying to think and meditate and see how we can overcome these things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it's not for us. It's for us to release it and give it uh -huh. to him. And be about Father's business. Yes. Amen. Well, here it is right here. First Peter 5, 7 says in the Amplified, casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all, on Him. 
for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Yeah. Okay, if he says give it, give it. Mm -hmm. Don't hold on to it. I well, you know, I'll wait till I accumulate so many and then uh, I'll give it all to him. No. Or maybe I'll just give him a few. No, mm -hmm. give it all to him. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Do you have a winning attitude? Do you have a losing attitude? Mm -hmm. Only you can answer that question. That's it. Amen. Only you can answer that question. But why not have a winning attitude? Yes. Because that's what Father created us to be. Mm -hmm. Winners and not losers. Yes. Amen. Losing and defeat is not for believers. It's for the enemy. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Romans 8, 17 says, we're joint heirs with Christ. Mm -hmm. We're winners. In case nobody ever told you, you're a winner. See yourself that way. Yes. Yeah. Amen. I don't care what people's call to you. I don't care what people say. Mm -hmm. Know that you're a winner because yes. God loves you. Because he sacrificed. God sacrificed his son, Jesus. And Jesus came and gave his life that you might be a winner. Be a winner for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Quit, quit holding back. Yes. Quit being defeated. For Jesus first, daily. Matthew 6, uh, 33. Mm -hmm. This change of priority will start with a winning attitude. Start every day with a winning attitude. God knows what's best for us. Trust Him. His word can and will change us if we allow it. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to tell us what to do. He tells us what to do. He told Jonah, go to Nineveh and preach my word. <laughs> and Jonah says, no. I'm going the other way. So he did. You know, like the prodigal son, just take off on your own. He said, well, I got enough of Jesus in me to be dangerous, you know, to be okay. Yeah, but guess what? The world is going to attack you on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And you're going to just run dry. Mm -hmm. You know, every, you ever feel yourself getting dry mm -hmm. and, and starting to act like the world and sound like the world? All right. It's time to get a refill. Yes. Keep yourself full and not mm -hmm. empty. It says your cup runneth over. over. I mean, you study until your cup runs over. Mm -hmm. And when you're running over... You you let everybody know, cause man, I mean, I can't hold it back. I just gotta let it out. Amen. Amen. Man, I remember uh, 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 as as a gossiper, as uh, as a, a sports uh, uh, announcer. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I have to tell everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, now I'm getting full of the word of God, so I can come and share with you. Amen. But you also share with when you go out these four walls and you go out there into the world, mm -hmm. and then it's time. To share what Jesus says, it's time go and do go yes. into the world and be His uh, disciples and be be His apostles. Mm -hmm. So praise God. God knows best. We got to trust Him. His word can change and uh, will change us if we allow it. We gotta allow it. Say yes, Lord, I will. Mm -hmm. Well, Jonah finally realized <laughs> when he found himself in the belly of the whale. He says, "Okay, Lord, I'll go." <laughs> Some of us have found ourselves in situations that we shouldn't be in. Mm -hmm. And then we'll say, I shouldn't be here. I got myself here. God didn't put you there. You put yourself there. Mm -hmm. So it's time to confess, repent, and get out of there. Yeah. And do what he's called you to do. Mm -hmm. says the B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. <laughs> we learned that as kids. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It's still the B-I-B-L-E. Yeah. And that's the book yeah. for me. It's God's <laughs> instruction manual for life. Yes, you want to know anything about life? You just grab it and uh -huh. open it and read it and study it. Amen? Yeah. And I, I wrote it this way. If you want a winning attitude, read it, study it, obey it. Mm. Do it. Yes. Okay? I mean, that's, 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 you can't get away from that. This is the truth. This is the truth is what? To set you free. Set you free. This is the truth. The truth. The Word of God is the truth that will set you free from any mindsets. Yeah. From any traditions, yeah. from 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 whatever yeah. distractions is holding you back, mm -hmm. this will set you free, yes, and we need to be a free. You know? So praise yeah. God, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we we're not trying to get through because we got a long ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> but James one twenty two, chapter one, verse twenty two, and the King James says this: "But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, right. deceiving your own self." Right. So be hearers and doers of the word of God. Mm -hmm. I hear it. Some of us mm -hmm. hear real well, but we don't do real well. Uh -huh. <laughs> it says to be hearers and doers, hearers and doers of the word of God. And we need to do both. 
Amen? Not just one. Well, I hear it. Yeah, okay. But that's not for me. No. <laughs> Remember that man was created to be winners. Uh, Genesis 1 and 2. I'll read this to you. In the New Life Version it says, Then God says, Let us. Amen? It just give you a little bit of mm -hmm. nowhere in the Bible you'll find Trinity. Mm -hmm. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But in this scripture here, he says, let us. He's talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. He says, let us. Mm -hmm. Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Make man like us and let him be head over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over the, all the earth and over everything that moves on the earth. Amen. So we're to be winners. Man was put on earth to have dominion and authority. And that's what we need to do. When you get full of the word, you're taking authority. Yeah. And we need to take authority. You know, we've been laid back too good too too long. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is coming out of their closets except for Christians. We're still in the closet, not wanting to come out. Well, I don't know. Maybe no. It's time to come out. It's time to yes. press on. You dust yourself. Yes. Get ready and press on with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. he, that's what he wants us to do. Mm. Quit hiding in your closet any longer now. Okay. It's, time to, it's time to do it. We need a new attitude. We need right attitude. Yeah. On a daily basis. Have this winning attitude. Amen. Romans 2, uh, 12 and 2. In the easy to read version. Just don't change yourself to be like people of this world. Mm. But let God change your inside with a new way of thinking. No. Renewing your mind with the Word of God. Amen. Amen. You feed your spirit the Word of God. You renew your mind with the Word of God. Your mind is your mind, will, and emotions. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants you to do, wants for you. Yeah. You will be able to know what is good and pleasing to God and what is perfect. Yeah. This is the easy to read version. Yeah. So... Don't change yourself to be like people of the world. They want you. They want to take your peace. Don't let people steal your peace. Right. You bring them into your peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't let the world change you. You change mm -hmm. them by sharing Jesus with them. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Come on now. You might say or you might think, I don't feel like a winner. I feel like a loser. I feel like a failure. And this is easy for us to think. I've been there. Amen. And too many people never make it out of this. You'll never see them or hear from them again. Mm -hmm. And that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to yes. steal, kill, and destroy you. And you'll mm -hmm. use people yeah. to bring these things to you. Mm -hmm. And you need to know that God has better plans for you. Yes. God has great plans for you. None of these plans include defeat. That's right. None of these plans include losing. Mm -hmm. Amen. I feel like a failure. Forget the past. Get rid of the losing attitude. Get a new attitude. Get a winning attitude. Change. Quit the old negative way of thinking. Yes. Quit the old sinking thinking. Yeah. Stop using the same old losing excuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what insanity means? Insanity yeah. is doing the same thing over and over and over yeah. and expecting different results. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm going to change. Oh yeah, I'm going to stop. But you're still doing it. Uh -huh. And you're saying it, but you ain't doing it. Right. Amen. So that's insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Base your thinking on the fact that Jesus has overcome the world. Right. And we are overcomers yes. through Him. We are overcomers. Yeah. See yourself that way. Mm -hmm. John 16, 33 says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. In this world you will have troubles, but be brave. I have defeated. I have overcome the world. Yes. John 16, Amen. That was an easy to read version. Mm -hmm. God's kingdom and Satan's uh, world operate on this. If you never heard it before, you'll hear it here. <laughs> God's kingdom and Satan's world operate on this. The sown seed. You know what a sown seed is? Mm -hmm. So seed is a spoken, it's a word. Word is a seed. Yes. And you speak it positive or you speak it negative. But when you when you speak it, it's sown. Yeah. And that seed is gonna grow in you, not in somebody else. Uh -huh. I mean, you know? So it's gonna grow. So stop speaking the negative things. 
speak the positive things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stop speaking uh, uh, defeat yeah. and start speaking winning. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Because you are defeating yourself by the words you speak. Right. Some of you haven't understand this yet. It's the spoken word. Mm -hmm. And you're going around speaking the negative things and magnifying the world and magnifying your problems more than you're magnifying your God. Mm -hmm. By the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Words are powerful. Jesus, a God spoke the world into existence with powerful words. So words, the Bible says in uh, uh, Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the word. Or death and life are in the power of the spoken words yeah. that you speak. So be careful of the words you say. Well, I didn't mean anything. I didn't feel anything. But it's taking effect in you. Yeah. And you be careful what you're saying. Words are powerful. Yeah, See yourself yeah. the way God sees you. And I'll close with this. See yourself a winner. Yes. Jesus had a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. And so can we. In Ephesians he talks. And he amplified talks to us in uh, chapter 5 verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. To be imitators of Christ. And that's what I want to do. I want to imitate my Christ. My Jesus. Yes. And I want to be a winner. Amen. Amen. So you know. <laughs> If that makes you jealous, that's too bad. <laughs> I want to be a winner. I'm tired of yeah, being a loser. That's right. Amen. If you're tired of being a loser, so you know what? It's time to join the winning team. Amen. Amen. Get yourself right with Christ, you know. Yes. So, praise God. Amen. Great reasons to have a winning attitude is God has guaranteed our success. His word says we are more than conquerors. Sure. And Romans uh, 8, 30, 37. We are overcomers. Yeah. First John 5, 1 through 5. Yes. In him, you can overcome any problem that the world throws your way. Yes. Because God is bigger yes, than any is. mountain, any problem, any care, or any setbacks. Amen. Yes. So let's remember this. Amen. It's, it's, it's good word, but yes. we got to take it, meditate on it, yeah. and let the word change us. Let the word correct yes. us. Or you know what? Maybe it's just a, a blessing to you. It's blessing you. It's encouraging you. He says, yes, yes, yes. That's what I want. That's what I need. So praise God. Hey, we're on the same team. You know what team is? Team is together. Everyone achieves more. Mm -hmm. And we achieve more through him. Yes. So be a, a teammate. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So be a, let's be teammates for Christ. Amen. Amen. And uh, know that we can do all things through Christ. So praise God. Father, we just thank you for this yes. word we have sown, Lord. And we thank you that we are winners and see ourselves the way uh you see us yes as winners and more and conquerors father so we just thank you that we can do all things all through things. christ who strengthens us and we're going to continue this uh next week <laughs> attitude i mean nobody wants to hear that you've uh -huh. got an attitude if somebody says i've got an attitude i want them to say Man, you got a positive attitude. Mm. Man, you got a good attitude. You got a winning attitude. <laughs> well, praise God, most of the time said, man, you got a bad attitude. Mm. You got a wrong attitude. You got a negative attitude. Mm. I don't want that to happen, amen? So, you know, Jesus, all during his walk, you know, he had a positive attitude. He had a winning attitude, and so can we, amen? amen. So, praise God, let's take his word and let it work in us, amen? Amen. And let it work in us and uh, stop the uh, distractions that are holding us back. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Father, we just thank you for your precious word. You know? Oh, Father, is there, there anybody, you know, before we leave, we just want to make sure that you know Jesus. That Jesus yes. is your Lord and Savior. So if you never confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. Just say, Lord Jesus, I, uh, I repent of my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And start living for him from this day on. Yeah. Amen. And you know what? He He's already got great plans for you. We yeah. just got to line up with what the Word of God says and, and, and serve it. Yes. Amen. Serve it. You know, Mary and Martha, <laughs> when Jesus walked in, Mary saw him, and he came to serve the Master. Mm -hmm. And Martha was mad. She says, hey, what's more important? Our work is more important. So mm -hmm. forget about it. She didn't even see that was the master there. Mm -hmm. So we need to do the same thing. Know, be at the master, you know, and serve him. And this is for somebody, okay? Yeah. He has come that we might have life and life more abundantly. So yeah. anyway, uh, 
If you need a touch of healing, just yes. touch that part of your body you need to touch. You, Father, we thank you for your precious word. And we speak healing over that body right now, Father yes. God. Whatever the situation is, the Bible says, by Jesus stripes, we are healed. So sickness, disease, whatever you, you are, we just cast you down, cast you out in the name of Jesus. And we speak healing over that body right now yes. in Jesus' precious name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And with that, it's time to give. So if you're watching, listening, you would like to give your tithe, your offerings, you still can. Just go to our website. It's on the screen. Uh, NBCBigBen.com. Donate. Hit the donate button if you're mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas. 79843. And you want you to know God loves you and we love you. And you have a blessed week. Amen. Praise God.